This project focuses on urban climate change resilience. It's set out to understand how land tenure influences climate change impacts and in turn how it influences local strategies to respond to climate change. The project found that the urban poor have significant capacity to respond to climate change but the land tenure can reduce incentives to invest scarce resources in risk reduction. Limited access to resources and assets can trap the urban poor in locations that have a high vulnerability to floods. A pokkan is a form of an indigenous theatre. It's one of the oldest forms of storytelling in Bangladesh. It roughly translates to mean a picture song and it's a traditional folk medium which uses melody, drama, pictures and dancing to communicate a message. This pokkan that I developed with the University of Dhaka is slightly different in that it's a new and more modernised version of a pokkan. During my PhD in 2009 I actually seen a pokkan performance and for me it was very effective to communicate messages on climate change and from then I was really interested in terms of how you could use pokkans to disseminate research findings. Within Bangladesh, pokkans, as I mentioned, are one of the oldest forms of storytelling, so they're very effective ways to communicate to local audiences. But I think where the pokkan is distinct is you can have one form of communication that is able to target slum dwellers in Dhaka to a policymaker, for example. It uses photographs that I use directly from the project to communicate the message within the pokkan. So the lead singer and the narrator, along with instrumentalists and backing singers, relate the particular photographs to parts of the story to communicate the message. I hope this project encourages academics, practitioners and also policy makers to consider using alternative modes of communication. I was able to communicate my research with over 600 people, but not only that, the people within those audiences were very different stakeholders. The audiences were made up of slum dwellers, policy makers, researchers and practitioners. And I personally can't think of many forms of communication that allow you to communicate your work with such diverse audiences. As a researcher, I think it's very important to build awareness on climate change and also to go back to the very communities that our research is based on to tell them what we've learned from them.